Well, hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Cianti, director of the Cianti Prostate Center, and we're at the uh, IFU Center located here in Sarasota, Florida. Today, I want to show you a technique in which we use uh, uh, MRI mapped energy modulating therapy to provide uh, excellent ablation of a very high grade tumor. Our gentleman today is 54 years old, he had an elevated PSA and he was found on biopsy to have a Gleason grade 7 prostate cancer. An MRI demonstrated a large tumor that was based in the anterior or upper part of the prostate. If we look at the ultrasound screen on the Sonoblade device, it's not very clear on ultrasound where the tumor is, but the tumor was located in this upper part of the prostate on the right side. This is where the MRI is going to be very, very helpful today. We're going to import or bring in the MRI images, create a three-dimensional model of the prostate based on the MRI. We'll be able to see the tumor as determined by the MRI images, and then we'll be able to map the MRI images directly onto these ultrasound images so that I can appropriately direct a very high dosage of energy to this very dangerous type tumor. So we are in the process now of performing what's called the MRI to ultrasound fusion, which is a critical first step to the Triple M technique, that is the MRI map energy modulated technique. In this initial stage of this treatment, we have brought into the uh, hyphy machine a series of MRI images which were properly outlined and an MRI model was created and the tumor was drawn in. So now I'll direct your attention to the uh, treatment screen. And you'll see that this is an MRI of this prostate. The green line is the outline of the prostate of the MRI image. The red area is the tumor as demonstrated by the multi-parametric MRI. And as I move through these images, you'll see this tumor is based very much at the top of the prostate. If we look at the ultrasound images, the green line is the MRI outline and you can see how it's matching the ultrasound image perfectly. This is the process of a very precise MRI to ultrasound fusion. When we look at the ultrasound image, it's not clear that that's a tumor area. However, the red outline maps the tumor as shown by MRI directly onto the ultrasound and I can use this information to be able to target additional energy to this high grade tumor area. Without this mapping information I would have no real idea of exactly where in the prostate this tumor was if I relied only on the ultrasound images. Using the fusion technique we were able to map the MRI depiction of the tumor directly onto the ultrasound images, which is how we will actually design our treatment, and I'll show you that in the next set of images. At this stage of our procedure, we have now mapped the MRI to the ultrasound, and we're in the treatment planning stage of this high food procedure. So now let's have a look at the treatment uh, planning images. Look here, you'll see the yellow outline is the MRI outline. That is the outline of the prostate is shown by MRI and you can see how it's following beautifully the outline of the prostate by ultrasound. This tells us that we've got a very precise MRI mapping or precise fusion. The red area, this is the tumor as shown by the MRI now precisely mapped onto the ultrasound images. We can see this in multiple dimensions. We can see this in the what's called transverse dimension, the longitudinal dimension, and down in this lower corner of the screen, what's called the coronal dimension. But I will use all of these images to design the treatment and make sure that we lay over a very high dosage of energy over this tumor region. Without this anatomic information from the MRI, we would be forced to apply an equal amount of energy across this entire prostate. In fact, what we want to do in the Triple M technique is apply the highest dose of energy that can safely be applied to the worst part of the tumor 
and consequently minimize the energy to critical important structures. I think that this technique gives us the best balance of effective tumor destruction as well as preservation of critical structures and the ability to minimize any significant side effects. Once we start to deliver energy, I'll bring you back into the, into the uh, treatment screen and we'll see exactly how we lay the energy uh, and deliver the energy onto this tumor. We're now at a stage of the procedure where we've done all of our treatment planning and we've used the MRI uh, mapping of the tumor to make sure that we've got energy coverage throughout the whole tumor area. So let's look at the treatment screen. In this, uh, in this treatment screen, the tumor is shown uh, as the red circle area. That's the mapping of the MRI image of the tumor onto the ultrasound images. And you'll see that this very large tumor is well covered by energy. This assures that I'm not missing any of the tumor. This is also going to allow me, as I'll show you in the next series of images, a way to apply additional energy over this tumor. So I'm going to deliver this layer of energy and then I'll bring you back and show you how we apply additional energy to this tumor. We now are in the treatment delivery phase of our procedure. Every time you see the, um, the color come up on the screen, that's a burst of energy over the tumor. You can see that the red area is the mapping of the tumor as shown by MRI directly onto the ultrasound image. And now you can see that energy is being delivered directly onto this tumor. The coloring is a feature of the Sonoblate software called tissue change monitoring and the orange coloration tells us there's been a very significant and effective delivery of energy to this tumor. This technique allows us to ensure to ensure that we've delivered the appropriate amount of energy over the tumor. We'll come back again in the next phase of the procedure we'll show you how we overlap energy onto the tumor to effectively increase the energy dosage to the most significant portion of the tumor. That is a critical aspect to the MRI mapped energy modulated technique. We're now in a phase of our procedure where we've delivered energy across the entire upper zone of the prostate over the tumor as well as the surrounding tissues. The critical key to the Triple M technique, that is the MRI mapped energy modulated technique, is now we can go back and apply an additional layer of energy over the tumor itself. That additional layer of energy increases the dose of energy to that tumor and ensures excellent ablation of that tumor and at the same time allows me to not apply additional energy on the important structures that would produce side effects. So let's look at the screen here. You can see here on this screen the orange area shows the entire upper zone of the prostate's been treated and now I'm simply going to apply another layer of energy right over this tumor. And as I walk through the different screenshots this process allows me to increase the energy. You'll notice that the other parts of the prostate that didn't have significant tumor were not applying additional energy to. Applying energy across the entire area would simply allow an increase in side effects without an increase in uh, effectiveness. This Triple M technique allows me then to selectively increase the energy dosage to the worst part of the tumor even in cases where the entire prostate has to be treated as in this case we're working on today. So today in summary uh, we were able to demonstrate the use of MRI mapping of the tumor onto the ultrasound image. Something referred to as the Triple M technique. That's exclusive to the Cianti Prostate Center. That's a technique that I developed over many many years realizing that the key to a successful ablation with minimal side effects is concentrating the greatest density of energy on the worst part of the tumor 
and at the same time minimizing energy on the important structures that result in side effects. The ability to take the MRI which shows the worst part of the tumor project it directly onto the ultrasound images in the treatment screen is a critical, critical advance and this technology has allowed us to achieve excellent, excellent uh, ablation effects as demonstrated by a very high rate of negative biopsies. At the same time, being able to preserve urinary and sexual function. Thank you for watching.